Hey guys, it's Umbellas. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at some bolts from Redditor. So I asked a few Reddit users if they could give me their gallery IDs so that I could go ahead and check out their bolts, their awesome creations. And the first bolt that we're going to be checking out today is the Silly Snake Vet Clinic from MP from NL. These gallery picks are a crime. You know what? I agree because if you look at it firsthand, I mean, this is what you see. It's not so special. Welcome to the Silly Snake Vet Clinic right here in San Sequoia. We have it or can make it happen. Little ouchies are repaired and obedience almost comes natural. Try out the training course, get more information on pet care, give the critter some surgery, own the place even. This building shaped like a snake which makes it silly of course and is a place for pets and pet lovers alike. Before I continue this video I would love to mention that I have reopened my memberships panel if I can put it that way. So we have the first here which is Nooms. Over here you can have your loyalty badges that depends on how long you are a member of this community. Community. Of course, you will have custom emojis to use. So what my perks are here is that I must reply to your comments. You will get member shoutouts, meaning at the end of every video, I will shout out your name. And you will get access to members only videos. And then we have the Grimms tier, which includes everything from the previous tier. But the extra thing is here is you will have access to members only streams. And I am, of course, eternally grateful for your extra support if you choose the Grimms tier. So when you get a chance, you can press Perhaps go check it out if you are at all interested. I am very happy to have reopened it because I have opened it in the past but yeah I gave my reasons in a community post on why I say it's reopened and not opened for the first time. Alright so here is the adorable silly snake vet clinic. Now this lot is obviously a little bit too big for this bolt but that's not a problem. So I have actually checked out this bolt before and I was wondering how the hell did this person do the tongue and then I noticed that it's actually tiles like that is actually creatively done and these are little rugs of course which is pretty pretty cute now before i go to the interior i really want to look at the exterior real quick like I, I like these lines like that must be some kind of yeah i actually knew it would have been this wallpaper over here pretty cool pretty cool over here the kids can play some hopscotch the animals can train here at the back which is pretty awesome i was actually wondering where is the entrance door oh here it is so this is actually the the front of the clinic and this is actually the back of the clinic i actually did not know that. So let's go ahead and look at the interior for this bolt. So here we have the reception. Pretty cute. Um, So through here we have bathrooms. I'm pretty sure they all look similar. Like this is a pretty nice looking bathroom. Yeah, they're all pretty much similar. And here is a room where a mother or a father can quickly go ahead and change up their little ones. Dirty ass nappies. So yeah, okay. Let's go through this way. So over here we have the first, I almost said reception room. Like no, this is like where you basically just receive the animals and start you know taking care of them and here is doctor number two's little office pretty cute i love how these items are placed with the curved walls like that's actually super creative here we have some toys for some kids to play with even as well a vending machine so here we have another little office and through here we have what looks like maybe a personal office to do some research perhaps and over here we can do some research as well there's the kitty cat skeleton and there's the doggy dog skeleton pretty cute uh okay and over here we have more appliances on which they work when they treat the animals over here we can bath the dogs even we have a litter box which is self-cleaning which is very nice i mean the staff shouldn't have to clean those litter boxes themselves the whole time through this door we have oh wait this is the the same place isn't it yeah okay wait through here there's a door okay yeah okay i have checked out everything i'm confusing myself here again but yeah like this is such a great freaking bolt like i mean just look how creatively everything is put together i just love the shape of the snake in general and you know the placement of the items is actually geniusly done if that's even a term <laughs> but yeah so this is the first build from mp from nl that we're gonna be checking out today let's go and look at another one shall we so over here we have a super sick university housing building like look at the roofs on this bolt like this is sick this is so so freaking cool like what i don't even want to know how long this took to make anyway let's take a tour through this incredible structure shall we so this is a little hangout spot which is pretty cool you can do some exercise there as well through the first door we have a little hangout oh so freaking cool i see a lot of items from eco lifestyle here um over here we have a lovely little hangout not little it's actually kind of spacious big and oh my god i just i just love everything 
interesting about this boat. I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, no, this is a different room. So here we have a little podium area, whatever that is supposed to be, um, where the Sims can, you know, practice their speech and stuff. Here is a robotic station or room. Pretty cool. They can do some woodworking and all that jazz. I'm afraid I might skip a few rooms here because this is just such a cool boat, which is gonna confuse me after a while. But I'll try and not skip anything. Let's go up this staircase quickly. So here we have a mini fridge and hey this is actually freaking cool can the sims use it like this the the microwave on top of the mini fridge i hope that's functional that is so freaking clever actually over here we have some beds you know this is obviously a bedroom <laughs> i mean what else would it be wait did i miss anything here okay so there is a staircase going down let's just quickly finish looking at what's on this floor on this side all right so here we have another mini fridge with a microwave a little bathroom very very cool wait what's this no over here is another bedroom pretty much the same as the one on the bottom floor so through this door over here we have ooh, I, I love the placements of these tables like it, it looks cool if you place them that way seriously i haven't seen that before here's a tablet actually this is a sketching pad and um may i ask where the frick you found this wooden computer like is that a swatch of the old computer that i've never seen before or what like that's pretty cool here is another part of the well study room i suppose you can do some lovely research and whatever i love the items that they use like this is just i love it i love the color schemes of everything and yeah i just love everything about this bowl i'm actually gonna keep this in my world somewhere here we have the very genius microwave and mini fridge again through this door i suppose is a bedroom yeah there we go we have a bunk bed pretty much the same as the other one you know you actually build faster when you just basically make all the rooms the same and all the bathrooms the same because you know it just saves you a lot of time especially when you do things like this like they said it's a university hangout which means a lot of things are gonna be similar just want to make sure that i covered everything from this part of here so basically on this side is the same situation we have the bedrooms the mini fridge and microwave and yeah the little bathrooms like that's pretty cool now we haven't really been to this side of the building yet now i really want to go ahead and take a tour here so here is oh my gosh just this this is just so freaking cool we have a lovely little kitchen area by the looks of it i don't really yeah okay wait there is a fridge um over here we have a bathroom the same as the other bathrooms and on this side we also have another dorm which is pretty freaking cool all right so the other place we haven't checked out yet is this part over here so i'm gonna go into first person mode here because this is just gorgeous i love this i really freaking love this it's so plain but also super colorful like this is just oh my god the placement of these tables are you serious it's, it's it's beautiful and unique and yeah like yeah here's a little cafeteria area yeah this is the cafeteria yeah basically dumbass and i'm pretty sure up here is another dorm yeah there we go i really think this bolt is ap absolutely freaking creative like i said in the beginning i don't want to know how long this took to make i love the little room here which is a little hallway there like that's just so creative it's very detailed i love it now i'm gonna be checking out one more bolt from mp from an l and then i'm gonna move on to some more creators anyway so here we have this awesome kitty play park from mp from an l like this is actually freaking sick looking like i all, all, all i can say is i don't think i could ever build something like this i'm not even sure how i'm supposed to start the tour here like this is just on another level freaking crazy but let's see if we can find an entrance somewhere in which we can go through to start checking out this awesome i think it's like a journey to batu play park or something i think they mentioned that yeah it's called the space dome play park when the scientists were done experimenting with domes for mars and their plan instead of taking them down they changed it into a brand new park for oasis springs okay comes complete with a public pool toddler sand pit domed spaceship playground and underground access food and drink anemones anemones what amenities sorry and the remnants of the biodomes of course providing a great place to sunbathe while admiring the surroundings best played with roofs 
up i agree so yeah like wow this is just so freaking cool like this is supposed to be an awesome play park for oasis springs like i love it it's converted to a play park it used to be a space dome or something like that you know my my attention span is sometimes non-existent um yeah cool so i just want to quickly go to the parts where there's actually like um play equipment yeah so down here we have a little spot for toddlers pretty cute i, I just love the idea of it being converted to something that kids can be enjoying you know like what's through here here we have some plants some space that you can grow some plants and stuff through here what's through here okay here's bathrooms oh this is so cool this kind of feels like real life you know the big shopping centers where you have your bathroom hallways and i always get lost in those hallways i don't know why i just freaking always do i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one like where you're supposed to turn left i turn right every freaking time and i use those bathrooms a lot you know i actually try not to use public restrooms but if you have to you have to okay especially as a woman you can't just you know be indecent and uh go into a bush <laughs> you understand like it's actually indecent when a guy does that as well but i mean if nobody's around why the freak would you care that's just my uh opinion on that um but for a woman you cannot really do that anyway i don't want to talk about bathrooms i want to talk about this incredible freaking build like look at the beautiful plants here so these showers are open i wonder why though is there yeah this is the sunbathing area they spoke about yeah you can sunbathe up here and you can take a shower afterwards if you really want to this is so freaking cool down here in the little domes i wonder how kids get in here i think you can just maybe teleport them inside or they can literally just walk through it no i think you must teleport them so here's where the the, the older kids can play what's through here Ooh, okay this is a little um like a cafeteria kind of place oh my god it goes downstairs as well cool let's go down all right so down here is literally just a little tunnel okay if you go up again you get to another spot okay which leads to the outside okay so th that's just cool you know now i just want to say this build really struck me actually when i saw it on the gallery i was like what the frick is this like journey to batu hello <laughs> it just looks so freaking cool <coughs> Oh, sorry, my dog just dropped something. But anyway, so let's go ahead and check out the other creators. Here we have a more simple building style from Minx4827. So this creator didn't really have much builds for me to choose from, but I decided to choose the restaurant because, I mean, it looks kind of nice. Now, what I really wanted to show off about this build is the simplicity of this build. Now, when a lot of people look at builds, they think you must go all out. And it's not always a need to go all out with builds. And why I like this build is is because if you go inside this just gives me the feeling of realism like a lot of restaurants is actually very spacious and empty except for this reception room i mean there could have been maybe a plant in the corner and stuff like that or whatever but i just generally like seeing something that's not over cluttered for once if you go through this door this also gave me the very first idea of it being realistic now this looks like an older counter and here is a modern counter now this counter could have been here for a while and they decided to maybe just replace one of the counters with something new here we have some dining chairs you can sit here and you can enjoy your foodies and here's some more chairs over here i love the alignment of the windows here it's nice and it lights up everything pretty nicely through here we have a bathroom which looks so much like a bathroom you would find in real life if i have to be completely honest and the same with on this side you have two toilets in each bathroom pretty nice and pretty realistic and if you go through here you you have your general space where your chefs make the food and there's a bin at least <laughs> and here is a dishwasher which is pretty nice and of course the serving windows of which they did not have to pack I, I believe it would be dine out yeah now you don't need dine out to make it look realistic you can just replace it with different windows i like this light though that's a pretty cool light but yeah i just really wanted to show this build for the idea of it being super realistic and open and once again for once non-cluttered i really really like this build if you will allow me to give you a little bit of criticism with all the respect in the world a little bit of plants as i like to say plantation for the exterior would make it stand out much more but generally i love this build i will actually keep this restaurant in one of my worlds i really like the simplicity of this build next up we are gonna check out this german village by queen x linda i'm pretty sure that's how you say it but this is a beautiful little german village that we're gonna be checking out okay so 
here is the cute little German village. Now this boat would actually fit in beautifully and perfectly in Windenburg. Just look at the little community space over here. Like, oh, this is just so freaking cute. And um, I want to go through one of the doors here real quick. So let's go through here. This is obviously a bathroom because I saw the, um, the sign in the front. So through here, is this a door to the outside? No, this is a door to a little bathroom. I love it. Very, very cute. Very simple. Going upstairs, we have bathroom with a shower and through here we have just a little hallway leading to the bathroom okay and if you go downstairs again it's basically where we came from and through here oh what's ooh, what's this about uh cool <laughs> no idea what that really is looks like some kind of um newspaper cuttings here is a little space for toddlers to play oh so cute so cute i love it parent can sit here and check up on their little tots what's up this staircase mikiorios i think it's a bar i think it might be a bar let's see let's see where's the door okay oh no it's not it's a gym oh you know the gnome's arms that sign is actually very creatively thought out because of the strong looking gnome it's pretty cute um over here we have a bar okay here's the bar sweet okay i love this space like this is just so freaking cool upstairs there's so much you can do with this building upstairs we have a little chill area we have a foosball table we have some um i think it's wake the llama tables these ones specifically i like this little fire hydrant detail not hydrant um fire extinguisher yeah let's go here and quickly i'm pretty you know I, i'm gonna assume that this is maybe a little cafe i don't know yeah okay cool it is a little cafe so freaking cute when they open these big doors open i believe no make believe of course so adorable upstairs here we have a little chilling room by the looks of it i i love the colors used in this room it's so beautiful over here we have some books we can read Okay, over here we have a little play park area for the kids to play and enjoy themselves in. Perhaps while the parents enjoy their coffee and... Oh, and here's little food stalls too. I didn't even notice these. Okay, cool. Pretty, pretty cute. Very detailed. So let's go ahead and check out another build from Queen X Linda. Unless it's Queen's Linda, please correct me. I'm a dumbass. So over here we have another super adorable build built by Queen X Linda. This is a little boba shop. Like, I think this is just so freaking cute so detailed i love the mint and the light pink that's beautiful just look at the alignment of the tables here like i i never know really how to place tables outside of a shop of any kind so i'm i'm getting some tips here over here is I'm not sure what's back here let's go um before i go through the first building i really want to check out what this building here is about so that's a hanger which means this might have something to do with laundry so over here we have some seats okay yeah this is a laundry room all right because the boba tea shop and stuff is about fashion it makes sense to have a laundry room and over here is a bathroom oh i love the tiles i just love everything about this boat is there a upstairs to this yeah there is i'm not sure how you get up here but you can apparently whoops yeah here's a little chilling space like a little library pretty cute here's a door leading to the outside <gasps> oh this is so beautiful in here you have a little chilling area so cute okay so let's go into the first building i freaking love this bloody monkey it's so cute okay whoa this is so cutesy oh i think sims might have used this maybe um queen x lenda just tested everything out and that's the reason why there are some cups there here's the monkey again in here we have a beautiful little chilling area i love the colors you used honestly and over here we have of course the boba thingy maji <laughs> Once again, I'm not sure how you get to the upstairs, but I'm just gonna go through the roof. Here we have the monkey once again. Um, here we have a mannequin. Did you know you can actually get these things to come to life? Don't ask me how, but you can. Here's a male mannequin, and here is some stuffies, you know, that you can maybe check out, you know. Unless this is the storage area. It almost looks like the storage area, and if this is the storage... No, wait, this is where you buy the clothing. No, I'm such an idiot. Sorry, this is where you buy the clothes. The boba shop is downstairs, and the fashion section is upstairs here is a little adorable bathroom i swear there was a door here is it this door no it's not that's a window uh a door that leads to a little balcony where is that door is it this god why am i so freaking blind today anyway look at this little adorable seating area upstairs like this is oh my god you know what queen x linda you are an absolute genius in building i love the clutter and in contrast to the previous build that i showed by minx sometimes it's just nice to see a cluttered build and sometimes 
sometimes it is also just so refreshing to see a non-cluttered build like the restaurant that Minx built. But Queen X Linda, you are an absolute freaking genius. I love this. I am so gonna put this somewhere in some kind of world. So for the last creator of today, we're gonna be checking out Simlish Meme. This is a cozy cottage for a single mom with one kid. So cute, so cute. Let's check it out. So over here, we have the beautiful little cozy cottage. I love the fact that it's built on rocks and stuff. Like, this is just so freaking cool. Now, I was wondering about these vines. I have noticed very fast that it's from Debug and not really in-game. In the small ones you can use in-game, but the bigger ones are from Debug mode. I just wish they could put them in Build and Buy because um, you have to put in the cheat all the time, which is so annoying. But this build is just so freaking cute here we have a little entrance over here we have the kitchen so freaking cute and cozy i just quickly want to see what's through this door this is a little living room oh i love this record player that's beautiful um okay, let's go upstairs quickly this is the kids bedroom which is pretty adorable very cute minorly cluttered if that's that, if that makes any sense here is the parents bedroom the mom or the father doesn't really matter it's very 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 adorable i'm glad to see i'm not the only one who forgets about ceilings now and then <laughs> like so glad to see that um i don't feel alone anymore um i just want to see what's through this door okay so here is the bathroom oh this is so beautiful so cozy so small and perfectly cluttered for the size of the room through here is the entrance so yeah that was basically the whole interior now this is actually a very good build to use as an example on why i say that i play with my walls up now you see all of the vines and stuff that this person put on the exterior if you play with your walls up and your camera facing this way you, you can see everything that's against the walls and these vines on the outside is not gonna really distract you from what's happening on the inside should you play with your walls down just look how confusing this looks like the vines are kind of like everywhere in your way but if you have your walls at least halfway up it's just less for your brain to get confused by but all the way up is even better and that is exactly the reason why i play with my walls up you can just see all the detail and stuff that the build has to offer this is beautiful we're gonna be checking out one more build from this creator and then we shall be saying goodbye beautiful job so simlish meme has also built this barbie's dream ranch which is pretty adorable now people a lot of people build um barbie dream houses but this is a ranch and i am actually so obsessed with this look at the beautiful little barn at the back there but let's tour the main house first we have the iconic hoof over here the horse hoof bush pretty cute very very barbie like for some reason my camera doesn't want to move faster Hello. okay yeah there we go so through the front door we are greeted by a lovely pink living room space now i love the fact that everything is not extremely pink like barbie is known for and it's actually a softer pink which is very fitting to the horse ranch world i love these vines i will never ever ever stop using them in any bowl over here we have a very adorable little um fish tank i just would quickly want to see what's through these doors here oh okay so this is the main bedroom by the looks of it this might be barbie's room beautiful through this door we have a super pink bathroom which is actually pretty cute through this door might be skipper's room no sorry this is a bathroom this is then this might be skipper's bathroom then i don't know <laughs> through here we have a little study room pretty cute i don't know if they added more bedrooms but we'll see in a minute so okay wait oh yeah this is the entrance yeah okay this is obviously gonna be a pink kitchen like i mean what color else would you use i love this it's pretty cute through this door we have a little pantry of or something i'm not sure what you call these rooms little storage room little laundry area through here we have the garage Ooh, we got some items from the basement treasures kit i love this and here is obviously a very fancy sports car not fancy but you know the sims 4 is very limited i really hope we get cars soon here is another bedroom i'm not sure if this no i don't think this is the main bedroom this might be skipper's bedroom because she's a teenager and it makes sense having a um backpack over here and they chose the little cow plant backpack which is adorable and over here is her private little bathroom which is so cute i'm pretty sure chelsea's room might be on the top floor i'm gonna go ahead and find the staircase here we go let's go up here over here we have a lovely little hallway let's go through the first 
Wait, what's this door about? The first door here is... Okay, this is definitely little Chelsea's room. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Here is a bathroom. Very lovely. Here is a little... Which also kind of looks like a storage room. Maybe items that they don't use anymore, but you can paint here as well. And then over here, we have one more door to check out. Hmm, okay, here is a little nursery, which is pretty interesting. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything on the top floors. Nothing. But this is the general all-out structure of the book which is pretty cool i love this though here is a little horse trailer with which we call in afrikaans a bucky it's basically you know well i know you i know you know what it is but i i don't even need to explain i didn't even notice the horses there that's adorable i don't know what you call this type of car in english i'm sorry i'm 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 not well as you know i'm not english <laughs> so there are some terms that i totally forget in english here are some bikes i assume this is for chelsea and skipper here is a little play area this barn is just gorgeous though I, I must say through here we have what i assume will be a bathroom yeah okay oh this is so cute here we have the stalls in which the horses can chill in relax in sleep in all those things this is just so beautiful so up here is actually just an empty storage room i suppose you can store away some stuff there that you might not need anymore but you know generally this bowl is just so freaking adorable we have a little fountain over here i love the pink trees that's typically barbie themed and yes you guys so this is the last build that we're checking out today i really want to thank the reddit users for allowing me to check out their builds in a video but yeah thank you so much for watching i will be sure to do more of these in the future if you really want me to and yeah i hope you have a lovely day or evening i don't know where you are in the world but i hope you have a good one but thank you so much for watching i will see you all in the next one